Okay, because some people are having a little bit of trouble getting the elevator to go back down, I'll just be throwing this up as an addition to the other video. Here we have just the standard video where I left it at the end of the other one, or a standard elevator. Show that it works. Okay, everything worked correctly there. Now, as I said before, the order for it to go down is uh, push number one, push number two, push number three, and push number four. Which I will show you how to set those up now. And all of them will still have to be set to delay of six ticks. Just because we don't want these to cross, just a simple way to do that. Just bring this around the front, and it doesn't have to be done exactly like this. Like I said before, just go with whatever you have room for. And bring this one over. And for the six text for that one, set that one to four, that one to two. And just put those wherever you have room. Okay. Now on to piston number three. Okay, and I ended it off a little bit early or a little bit lower, just so that it still has the same six torches. So we don't have to adjust the piston or the repeaters at all. Okay, that's that one hooked up. And the last one can be a little bit tricky, just because wires like to cross. Okay, now we just place the same six torches. Okay. And from here we'll just step it up. Okay, now here we could run into a bit of a problem where you'd have to throw in a repeater because this is over 15 blocks. And again, yours might not be identical to this, just go with what your space allows you to have. But because we're placing the repeater up here, we don't have to have one between these two. Whereas for the rest of them we still do. And just as before, have this one set to four ticks, so the first person has time to retract. Make sure the rest of them are set properly. Okay, and that should work. Let's test it out. And there we go.